Hello everyone, and welcome to India. Now, I'm really proud of myself for this video, because for the first time ever, I've managed to get an innuendo into the title. So thank you, thank you, round of applause, please. Thank you, yes, thank you. Thank you. Okay, shut up! Now, you may be wondering why it's raining in a three-lap race. And the reason for that is because this is taken from my open lobby, so I set it to light rain. So it's light rain, it's three laps, it's India, and it's a lot of fun. So, 16 cars, 16 drivers, and 160 fingers and thumbs ready to be in operation. Quite a sick thought, actually, when you think about it. Anyway, so we're away now. I'm P13. It's a random grid. I'm behind Ewan Warren, 99, in his Lotus Renault. We're all flying towards the first corner. 16 of us in the rain. There's going to be carnage all over the place. There is carnage all over the place. There's more cars spinning out than going straight. And, uh, well, actually, there's not that many cars that have spun out. But I'm facing contact left, right, and centre as we go towards turn three. I've got my braking zone all wrong. I've hit the inside of the Mercedes. I could send the Mercedes spinning there, and that will end up in a penalty. Yeah, I've sent the Mercedes spinning, and it does end up in a penalty. It's a fully justified penalty. I've made an absolute meal of that first corner. Third corner, rather, not first corner. I did the first corner quite well. The third corner, though, I got completely wrong. And now my inside comes Ewan Warren in his Lotus Renault again. He's committing down my inside in uh, aggressive fashion, but... but but justified fashion, I would say, and uh, he's actually got the move done there, but he's lost his rear tyres on the exit, and I'm going to blitz him down the outside towards this, towards the middle sector section, this very fast section, which is tricky in the dry, and in the wet, it's going to be even trickier. Yeah, you can see that there. I've completely missed one of the corners. And that, oh, there's contact there. The Williams has gone spinning. And uh, Toblio drives on in his foot, Sauber. And I look to pick up the pieces from that one. I'm like, oh, I'll have a bit of that. I'll have a bite of that. Thank you very much. As I come round his outside, gets a bit tighter on the apex of this corner. Got to make sure it doesn't catch you out. It caught Toblio out. 45 out a little bit. And uh, we're still, he's still ahead, though, as we go through this little fast chicane area type arrangement. And now we're flying towards the final sort of corner thing. And uh, and it's all it's well it's all died down. He's he's, ga he's gained about four tenths on me, so that's I'm not even anywhere near catching him up, which is uh, which is which is disappointing. And I need to sort it out to be honest, because I'm P7 out of 15, and that needs to be improved. So we're 1.1 seconds behind him. We're 2.2 seconds ahead of the dr guy behind me, and it's time to increase the bottom number there, that 2.2, and decrease the 1.1. So let's really pull out the sweat now. So that involves mix three, which is perfect. So we're, we're cranking it up now. We're cranking up the heat. We're just, we're just, we're just turning it up a notch or two as we apply the curves down the big long straight that is this one that we're on now. Obviously, no DRS one because it's a three lap race. Two because it's not even lap, the end of lap two yet. And three because it's in the rain, so DRS can't be denied. Denied allowed. So that's that's the reasons for no DRS. Now there's two cars there that have got it completely wrong, and I'm looking to pick up. I'm picking up a bite of this now. I've taken the one, and I've taken the other as we fly towards the middle section. It's side by side into this corner is going to be horrendous. It is horrendous. I've spun out. I've almost taken out the polystyrene barrier, and I've lost lots of positions. It's gone horrendously wrong. I'm down into P8 now as we come through here, and I'm miles off the apex. Where am I driving? I'm just. Oh, God, I'm closer to sanity than the apex at the moment, and I've, I'm going to lose another position to Matt, who drifts around my outside in, well, pretty spectacular fashion there. He just cut me open like I was a, uh, uh, a Caesar salad. No, you don't cut open Caesar salads. What am I talking about? Uh, what do you cut open? I don't want to say, like, beef or anything, because vegetarians might get offended. Um... You could open... I don't really care. So, it's P8, it's P8, and uh, I'm going to try and finish top five here because we don't want people getting the impression that I'm a bad driver in my open lobby, do we? I mean, it's it's not like I use all the assists, like, you know, racing, line, and traction control. We want people to think I'm a good driver because I don't use those. Uh, so, so, we don't want people getting the wrong impression. So, we do need to finish top five. So, I'm behind this Lotus Renault. He's Australian. 
I enter I Shikari. And there's two cars that have gone wide into turn three there. I could have an absolute feast of positions on this straight as I go up into B6, but ahead of the Force India and ahead of the Sauber. Matt in the Sauber and someone else in the Force India have lost positions to me. And this, I was going to overtake the Lotus Renault as well, but uh, he's absolutely left me for chips. He must have some serious car set up on with that straight line pace. The three hours tell me someone's committed aggressively. It's the Force India. He's shunting me a little bit wide. It's a very aggressive an arduous move, and Matt's picked up the pieces from that one as well as in the Sauber. And now there's a Dutchman in a Mercedes looking like he wants some meat from me. And there's two of them side by side into the into the middle sector. That's never going to end well as we learnt last lap. And we're still dicing through the middle sector. The Force India's just ahead of me here. I'm sat behind the Force India. Force India's gone wide. The Force India's lost it completely. And the Force India's taken me out. And he's collected me. And he's taken me to the shops because he's... Oh, I've lost it completely now. And that's the whole race gone up sh creek. And it's it's really disappointing because I'd, re I'd really hoped for better than P11. I really did. In fact, it could get worse because of that penalty. Could get worse than this horror story that it already is. But anyway, oh god, I've completely made a mess of that chicane. I've collected Ewan Warren. I'm going to get a penalty. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a fucking penalty. We've been given a time penalty. Jeez. Give me strength, man. I can't be dealing with this. But uh, I think I've got past the Force India there, which is... No, no, I haven't. Of course I haven't. Of course I haven't overtaken the Force India. <sighs> to be fair, both penalties were probably justified. It was fairly aggressive driving from me. I'm not actually that annoyed because it was my open lobby and it was a laugh. And, uh, and thanks everyone that took part. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.